What's up everybody watching? Today I want to get out a quick video where I bust open two packs that I found at Walmart today. One, Evolving Skies, and buried in the pile of Evolving Skies we also found a Vivid Voltage pack. I haven't seen these in a while, so this might be some lone pack luck kind of thing. We're hoping so with this Vivid Voltage pack. But that wasn't the main reason I went to Walmart, and I just want to show you this crazy stuff before we jump into the opening. James E. commented on one of my videos yesterday. They had Pokemon Oreos. I saw that comment when I was on my way to the store, and boom. Of course I looked. Of course I looked. I have an Oreo addiction as it is. For them to have these is crazy to me. I'm assuming it's for Pokemon's 25th anniversary. I picked up two bags. Because what these tell, what this, the understanding I have for these particular Oreos is there is 16 types of Pokemon printed on the Oreo cookies. You only get one in each bag, Mew being the hardest. Thank you for that comment because I didn't know Mew was going to be the hardest one here. But that's pretty crazy. One of these bags I may open down the line. And they open both. I'm lying. I'm sitting here thinking it through on camera. Like, what am I going to do with these Oreos? I love cookies. You're going to have that night where you run out of cookies. And this is what you're going to have left. It could be troubling. could be a video. We'll just have to see. But check out Pokemon Oreos. Let me know if you get a bag of these. And let me know who you get in the bag. I'm curious to see how this goes. I would like Pikachu. I would like a Pikachu Oreo. I remember last time... We had collector's edition Oreos like this. It was Game of Thrones. I got the final season bag of Game of Thrones. I still have that. Cookies are obviously no good, but... Nice bag. Still my favorite bag of Oreos. I like the way that was done. But we have a competitor here with the Pokemon ones. Now, enough of the talking. Let's go on and just bust open the two packs we got and see if we can get lucky. We have our Evolving Skies one right here. It's an Umbreon pack, one of my favorite arts on the packs, and we're looking for an Umbreon. We actually pulled an Umbreon last night. Let me show that in the video. There's so much we want to talk about in these videos sometimes that we forget. We did not pull the big Umbreon. Me and my girlfriend pulled this Umbreon. She was the one who actually pulled this Umbreon from another one of her magical let's get home at night and pop open a pack behind Frozen's back. This is what she gets. If you watched my video yesterday where I busted open a number of these packs, you would see that I was searching for an Umbreon. She knew that and then she pulls that, but we still have the big one to get. We can still make it work. You know which Umbreon we're talking about. We already pulled Rayquaza. We're going to get Umbreon. Let's do this. Our Lone Evolving Skies pack. I'm actually going to start trying to play with these codes at some point. I've decided, after speaking to fellow Pokemon card game players, that the best way to learn would be to try the online game. So I'm going to give it a whirl. I might even put a video up of it. That wouldn't be a bad idea in my opinion. We've done Hearthstone, so we are familiar with card games. I'd like to see how Pokemon goes. See how many of those codes still work. You guys are watching the videos, those codes should be redeemed. We'll find out soon. Otherwise, I'm going to have a nice online deck. Hmm. Where are we with these? Come on. Not a new card, not a new card. This card again. Thievil. This card haunts me at this point in time. Look at the taunting stare. This is going to be the one. Oh yeah. Forgot. 
I also picked up a few other Vivid Voltage packs, but that was a whole other story. This is just the Walmart ones. I think it was like six I was able to get a hold of. We'll show those in a future video. They're hanger pack ones with promo cards. So that'll make for a nice unboxing. But for now, the lone Walmart pack. Giving away those codes. This is going to be the one, let's hope. Otherwise, we're just SOL tonight. Kakuna. Bath Skiddo. Edney. It's all about those last two at this point. This is not a new card. We already have this one. Now, come on. The whole Walmart trip, I guess, is down to this last card. Was it worth it? Mm, no, it was not. Not the worst. Certainly not the best. The good thing about this is I don't believe I have this card, so at least it can go towards putting together a set so I can't say it's a total loss. But these two packs aren't the best. What do you expect from two packs? After the Best Buy three-pack luck where you pull the damn Pikachu, it's going to be a while probably before I get that kind of luck where I grab one or two last packs at the store and that's all she wrote where you pull an epic card. You know what I'm thinking. Alright. What are we going to do? We're reaching into the box of packs because I want to do another one. Chilling rain, alright. I guess it's going to be chilling rain. We're going to have a variety here at this point in time. I don't think I have any of these in my binder yet either. So let's see if the chilling rain pack can warm up this pack opening. You know what, it works. You get one of the last three sets in this video. Beautiful. It all works out. That was a random grab too. So it comes with this coin. I still have to get the Snorlax Chilling Rain 3 pack. That's one that's eluded me. I do have the Eevee one. Happy about that. That's somewhere in here. We'll show that later. Wilmer. Chilling Rain code. And on to the pack. I've been hoping for something real good from Chilling Rain. It's been a while, and a lot of packs. It's definitely been the coldest set to me so far. So here's a question I want to throw at the viewers. If you had a bunch of Vivid Voltage packs currently, what would you do with them? Say 80. Roughly that. Vivid Voltage being out of print, would you keep the pack sealed? Would you unbox half of them, open, ha unbox open, whatever. It's the same thing. I'm a little drawn at this point in time. I don't want to open the Voltage ones unless I get more Voltage ones, but at the same point, I like Vivid Voltage. So what would you guys do? Same, I guess, applies for Darkness Ablaze, which I have much less of. Maybe 10 packs? Something like that, a Darkness Ablaze. Those I'll probably keep sealed, maybe open one or two on the channel from time to time, because I think I'll be able to get a couple more. But what would you guys do if you had those packs? Actually, that's another good question for most of the viewers. Do you like sealed Pokemon product, or do you like to pop it open, or do you like to keep yourselves with a healthy variety? What do you think? I like to know what other collectors do with their cards. Down to the wire here. Come on, chill and rain.
I don't have this card. No, I do not have that. So that is a new foil for Chilling Rain. The final card is sort of a disappointment. It's going to be a hollow. It's not the worst Chilling Rain pack I've ever seen. So we pulled a few hollows out of these three packs. One Chilling Rain, one Evolving Skies, one Vivid Voltage, and we've shown epic Pokemon Oreos. Let me know what your favorite part of this video was at this point in the time. I'm going to go with it's not going to be the pack openings and it's going to be the Oreos because those packs disappointed me a little bit. Hell, I'm even thinking of disliking my own video because these packs were so disappointing, but I can't do that. I have to like the video and I have to say everybody, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're going to get more of these out in the near future, obviously, and it's only a matter of time before we hit those ETBs and hopefully 1,000 subs. Have a good day or night wherever you are, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later.